Hi everyone, it's Goldie from Crafts Happen. I have a quick little haul to share with you and a project share. So what I did was, I've been telling myself and telling myself I wanted to do bottle caps. I wanted to at least try to do a bottle cap. So I went to Michael's looking for bottle caps and I found these. These are their fashion caps. There's like 48 in the package. They weren't really all that terribly expensive, but the cool part is they have like a hole on each end. So they're already punched with a hole so you don't have to mess with that. They're really, really cool other than the fact that they don't like to be flattened because if you flatten those, this is what you get. And I was watching some videos. I watched Louisa Diaz and Sabrina Ann here on YouTube. And that is their YouTube names. But, um, yeah. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what. But I did them exactly the way that both of those ladies said to do. And they, you know, mostly it looks okay to me. But this, this little flattened area, because it's like flat on each end right here. Flat and flat. I don't know, I don't like the way that looks, so I'm either not doing something right or that's where I need to just put everything on and yeah, do all of that. So consequently, I decided, okay, fine, I don't like that, so I went into Hobby Lobby and while I was in Hobby Lobby, I found this package, Vintage Bottle Cap Sticker Pack and I like the pictures that are in here. I love the whole vintage kind of shabby chic looking sort of deal going on with that. And while I was at it, I bought this package of bottle caps. Now, these ones are stinking awesome because they flatten really super, super easy. Sorry about the rattling. Hold on. They flatten really, really easy. And I there aren't any holes in them, so you have to put your own holes in. So while I was there, I got the hole punch. And this actually, it was kind of spendy. I used a 40% coupon, but it actually comes with an extra little needle in it so that when the event that that gets dull, you can actually change that out. And it punches super nice, really super simple. And these flatten absolutely lovely. And I used my Big Shot and the plate, and I flattened one way the way one of the ladies said with this plate down like this, setting the thing on and using one plate, and then on the other one using two plates and minus the tabs. So I did all of that, and either way, these ones, the the Doris caps, they turn out absolutely awesome. They look great. So <clears throat> that being said, I also bought some of the ones that were already flattened, and I bought them in black haven't done anything with those just yet but I got some of those I also bought a one inch punch and I love these EK success punches because they store so flat and nice and out of the way and while I was at it I also purchased the one and a half inch punch I just haven't opened this one up yet because hello I bought the bigger punches and I'm not sure if that'll actually fit, but we're gonna give it a try. Now, that having been said, after seeing how these flatten so nicely, my husband says, do those flatten? Because they're bigger, right? They're the bigger size one. He's like, do they flatten? Do they flatten? And I said, well, you know what? I'm not really sure, let's find out. So, yeah, they kind of flatten. This one's a little rumpled. Not exactly my favorite, but I did it the same way I did these. So I took my plate, I opened up all the tabs, I put the cap in, put this on, and ran it through. That's what you get. No, I take that back. I take that back. This way. Both tabs. There we go. See, tab one and two. Put that on. Use one of those that's what you get. So if you do that, that's not exactly great because your edges are kind of ruffled and not 
great. I'm sure that could be kind of like tapped into place with like a rubber mallet or whatever. But I decided that I didn't really like the look of that. So what I did, I went like this, pulled the tabs out of the way, stuck this little puppy on there, and smashed it down, ran it through the big shot this way. And because it just set the edges over just a little bit, I wanted it just a little bit more flat. So I went with tab one, stuck it on there, did the little thing, and ran it through the big shot one more time, and that's what you get. So they actually do flatten kind of nice. You have a little bit of a ruffle on the inside there because of the edge, but it does flatten kind of nice. So I was really surprised with that. So while I was at it, here we go, while I was at it, this is what you get if you do it one time. And you'll notice it's actually just kind of boated out a little bit. This is what happens when you're on plate one, or the, the actual surface, and just the plate. So that's what you get, it kind of just flattens it just a little. So I still need to run that one through one more time. So. <laughs> I found the slightly larger bottle caps, and don't ask me why I cannot find my package. Where did you go? There you are. So, I found these at Tuesday morning, and because I was at Tuesday morning, I took all they had. There were three this size, there we go, and one that size. This is the big one. See, the size of the hand? Yeah. So. I wanted to see how this was going to look, and I figured for 79 cents, let's give it a go. So, that's what you get if you do them very, very slowly. So, first on this one, just the base with one single plate, and then take it on tab one and do it again, and then take it on tab two and do it again. So that's what you get. And with this, if you go just to tab one, this is what you get. So here's the difference. And like I said, I figure for 79 cents, might as well give it a try. And I don't know why, but for some reason, this bigger one actually flattened a lot nicer than this one. And it's mostly good. I don't mind the way that it looks. It's got a little bit of an extra crimp right there. But that's initially where it went through. But honestly, I think I can kind of straighten that out. But I like the way that looks compared to that. I don't know. Not too bad. So there's that. Now, so I decided I wanted to try both. One lady uses glossy accents. The other lady uses Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. So. I tried them both. This is my very first bottle cap. Are we focusing? You gonna focus? Personally, I think I've got too much glitter. Just a little bit. And that is a fleur de lis from um, French Country. Um, yeah, Graphic 45 French Country. And then a piece from the other side. And I think the glitter on that side's a little bit better. I really like that. So I used um, hmm, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on the inside and it flows super fast. They weren't kidding when they said that it does. It flows super fast but not a bubble in it. Super nice. And then I did glossy accents on the back side because I wasn't sure it was going to stay up where I wanted it to go. So that's my very first bottle cap and that's one of the ones that was had the holes in it because at that point I hadn't gone to Michael's just yet. So this was the next one and that is from Secret Garden. That's also a Graphic 45 and I love the way that looks. I'm thinking I need to do something really special with that one and I didn't do anything to the back of that but I really like it. So then I discover that okay I can flatten these little puppies and I like the way that they look so there's another piece from Graphic 45 Secret Garden and I put that on the back 
so now I need to figure something out to do that. I think it turned out okay. I kind of like it. Not a bubble in it. And it's still the same thing. I use the Dimensional Magic on the inside and the Glossy Accents on the outside. And I think they turned out pretty cool. I don't know. Now I need to like finish and embellish and do the rest of the stuff. And this one was Die Cuts with a View. And it's the, I think, I think it's the, like a piece from the Primrose stack. And I love that pretty little flower. And so I just did the same thing, just another spot from the paper. And I liked the way that turned out. And I had just the tiniest little bit of bubble come up before I could get it out. It was starting to stiffen up. So I just stuck a little, stuck a little bling in there to cover it up. And now you can't even tell. So in the process of that, I actually did a few more, and these, these are from, this paper is like from the paper studio, and it's the, um, the old world, old world winter, and I love this paper because if you look at it, I don't know if you can actually see it, but the paper has like, almost like a linen texture to it, and it's real thick and whatnot, so I like that you can actually still see the linen through it. And again, a little bit of a bubble, so I just covered it up with that, and they turned out super cute. So we did those, and then on the back, I stuck a little, I just added that. I didn't have a bubble, but I added it, and same thing. So there's that, and I, hello, Carol of the Holly, on the Holly. So those turned out really, really cute. So now I just need to actually <laughs> finish my bottle caps and like actually turn them into some bottle cap charms. So there's all of that. Fun. Um, you ladies said that this was super easy and fun to do and it really, really is. And so yeah, now I'm going to use some of these and see what I can do as soon as I get those put together for charms. And thanks ladies, thank you Louisa, and thank you Sabrina for your tips and hints. And if I can, I will link your tutorials down in the, and yeah, down below, yeah, down there. Down there, I will link them down there. And yeah, thank you guys. That was awesome. And so now the only other thing I have is I have a few shout outs to some new subbies. And you subscribers need to know that you guys are the most awesome thing since sliced bread. And I am so not even kidding because you are what make the world go round. Well, we all are because we're all subbies to someone for YouTube. And it's great. So shout out to put some bling on it that's Natalie she has some awesome awesome videos you guys need to go check her out and sub to her channel and we have koala crafts that's B I looked at some of her things and she does some awesome things as well and be expecting a sub back from me B and I also have Lori, um, Lori, I'm hoping I'm not going to butcher your last name, but if I do, I apologize right now. Uh, Lori Marcucci, M-A-R-C-U-C-C-I. I hope I pronounced it right. Um, yeah, thank you guys again for subbing. Um, yeah, I do appreciate it. I really, really, really do. And thank you for everybody's private messages and mm. the comments that you guys leave. So I appreciate it. I don't know how many times. One more time. I appreciate it. You have no idea. Thank you very much. I hope everybody has a super, super nice day today. And I'll see what I can do with those. We'll do another video. <laughs> you guys can check it out with me. Have a good one. Bye.